Hey all, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games over in Shanghai. Uh, today's video I wanted to talk about a game that we did called Super Bug Killer and how much money the game has made so far roughly and the sort of the learning points that we got from, from this game and hopefully this will help you guys in developing your future games or if you're doing something similar like how to make more money through in-app purchases in the game. So, uh, you know, quickly I'll show, I'll show you what the game is all about. This is um, it's a reskin of another game that we did called AMX. And basically it's kind of a Fruit Ninja style game. It's very, very simple and it's very easy to play. I'm going to play it in Unity here so that it's, a, it's larger on the screen. Uh, I'm not going to play it on my iPhone or iPad. Uh, it might be a little bit slow because of the recording software, but the idea is just to swipe these flies. Uh, don't touch the ladybugs and swipe the bees as well. And um, what will happen is these will go across the screen faster and faster and then the goal is just to swipe for as long as you can. If you miss one of the flies it's game over or if you swipe one of the ladybugs it's game over. And um, this just goes faster and faster so if I kill one of the ladybugs, okay don't worry about that exception, that problem there, it's just, it loads back into the, uh, into the main menu screen. Actually the shop scene comes before the menu, menu screen so this would be the next one. Um, so, so far the reason I wanted to do this video as I mentioned is that the game has, has not been successful in terms of like the number of downloads. Overall each day this game downloads like, I don't know, at the moment an iPhone is around 100. I, I did a quick check before, it's around 100 a day. So for a free game that's extremely low really, um, it's not one of our more successful games in terms of downloads. But the in-app purchases that we've had have been pretty good so far. So I'm just going to pull my notes up and kind of explain a little bit more. Um, so downloads, we said, yeah, roughly 80 to 100 per day. Uh, and that's partly because it needs improved keywords. It needs better SEO. Uh, so adding in sp more specific keywords into the description in iTunes. Uh, I'm not talking about that right now. I just wanted to just explain it. But as I mentioned here, we've had some good in-app purchases. So I, I wrote down some of the some of the purchases that we've had and the downloads. So on the 19th of December we had 80 downloads or less than 80 and it had two in-app purchases so $3 and $5 and a $5 in-app purchase would be $3.50 to us after, the, after Apple takes its cut. And on the 18th of December 100, 100 downloads and three purchases. Uh, two of those were $50 and one of them was $30 so we basically made after Apple's cut that comes to ninety dollars, I think, on a game that was downloaded only one hundred times and it had a three percent uh, purchase rate. Now, Super Bug Killer is not a very deep game. It's not like um, Japan Life or it's not like a huge game like Clash of the, Clash of the Clans or Simpsons or anything like this. It's it's a very small, simple, simple game, and it's sort of a, like what I call a snack game. People can just play this while they're waiting for you know the latte in Starbucks or and waiting for the bus, whatever. Seventeenth um, of December was a hundred downloads, had zero in-app purchases. Sixteenth had one hundred twenty-eight downloads, again zero in-app purchases. Uh, the fifteenth of December uh, was less than one hundred and twenty, and someone bought an in-app purchase for thirty dollars. So. Uh, the point here is that that's in terms of the num the percentage of downloads and the and the, the amount of revenue that made for such a small game as in the, the the game is very very small it's not large but also the number of downloads are very small that's pretty good as for for a very small developer for a single game um, especially if you are a small team or perhaps an individual developer so uh, the video here is why why did this happen why why was it so good you know or, or why is it doing okay? You know, it's not not an amazing game, but why? What what did we learn from this? Uh, the first thing is make leaderboards central. Make leaderboards the the main thing. If you've got a score based game, which we have, this the idea with Super Bug Killer is just to get the highest score possible. That's all it is, uh, and obviously to have fun playing the game as well. There's no levels. There's no progress or anything like this. But it's a score based game, so we made leaderboards central. So if I just go to the main menu screen here, I'll, I'll quickly show you guys. This leaderboards button here is right under the play button. It's large, it's big. It could be more clear, in fact, or it could have some kind of pop up or some kind of uh, screen that comes after <coughs> after the main game, showing like the list of top players. So that could be done better. But the whole goal here was to make leaderboards very, very clear, central, and to have that sort of like social dynamic competition going on. So I think that's worked pretty well. Uh, 
The other one, uh, focus on players who spend more money or a lot of time and not necessarily skilled players. So the point is that we, uh, in this game, what happens is, uh, if I play this, is the as you, the bees in the game. So if I quickly click play, the bees in the game are the currency. So as I get a bee, uh, and I'll hopefully one will pop up in a second, if I can show you guys. It might not pop up, it'll probably take ages to pop up now. Fly, there we go, a bee. All right, so whenever I swipe a bee, that's like getting one coin. And in the shop scene here, uh, what we can do is we have a score multiplier. And the score multiplier times one, times two, times three. So each time that you get the next score multiplier, like four, five, six, like like in Temple Run, you get a higher score. So players can use their bees. So if you if I just click on play, um, I've set it up here. I've only got I've got twenty thousand, and that's just um, because I've added in sort of a, a testing a testing amount. If I get the next grade, it upgrades my my uh, score multiplier, and then I can get a higher score. So let me just go back to my point here. So focusing on players that spend a lot of money or a lot of time in the game means that players who will spend the money to buy the bees, as you can see here, like 100, 500, 1,000, and so on, 20,000, which is the $50 purchase, um, or players that are spending a lot of time in the game to get the bees, those are the players we want to reward, not necessarily the players that are skilled because it's it's... Could be it's disheartening, I think, to players, especially to say like my wife who plays this game, and she will play it, and she won't be very happy that she's not reaching the top because she's not a skilled gamer, not not a pro gamer, and neither am I. But she can reach the top by putting in a lot of time, or if she does pay for something. So we want to reward those players. Um, have a currency in the game, which is what we just said. Uh, you know, some bees or coins or gold or something like this. And we're going to do this in every game going forward. It has to have this currency in it. And it's also going to have the score multiplier system that I just explained there as well. Um, have low to high in-app purchases. In it, possibly in every game that you do, guys, have one which is a $1 purchase and then a set of them leading up like an upsell all the way up to, say, like $50 or $100. So whichever one that you feel that is correct. For example, Simpsons taps out like as a $70 purchase. I think I saw the, uh, I think it was the Gangnam Massacre game. Uh, the other day, has like, or the new version of it has like a hundred dollar purchase or something like that. Now, as you can see here, most people will not buy a hundred dollar in-app purchase, but every now and then you will find somebody that buys that. And as I mentioned there the other day on the 18th, this game made ninety dollars with only a hundred downloads, which is fantastic. Um, so going on to the next point, so yeah, always have a low one, always have the one dollar one, the three dollar, five dollar, ten, twenty, fifty, whatever it is. Okay. Um, and make the in-app purchases unlimited. What I mean is here with this score multiplier system is players can get an unlimited score multiplier. They can get a billion score multiplier or as much as the uh, the integer will allow. You know what I mean? It, it will only go up to a certain amount because that's the, uh, the size of memory that that number would allow. But, you know, have it unlimited. Let players go up to a million score multiplier if they want to do that because... Um, there's no cap to it, and if they if they really enjoy the game, if they're really having a good time, and they like this competition with their friends on the leaderboards, um, you know, hey, I beat this person, or I beat you, and I'm going to work hard. Then yes, push that competition and let it be unlimited. Don't base it on skill so much. Base it on time, uh, the, the amount of time that player puts in the game, or base it on how much money they're spending in the game. Okay, so um, we got some good results from this on Android. Now, on, on Google Play and Android, the leaderboards are HazeApp leaderboards, which I really recommend checking out. Go to HazeApp.com um, or developer.hazeapp.com and you can get their leaderboards in the game. And what they can do is they can challenge each other's players, each their friends. They can click on the challenge button and then challenge their friend to a round. And whoever gets the most points in that round wins, wins the round. Uh, we had some good success with that over the past few days. We had some players that kept on buying 1,000 Bs all the time just to beat their friend on this on this leaderboard so they were challenging each other back and forth and just trying to get higher and higher up the leaderboard and that kind of social dynamic competition is really you know it's great for us because it, it, it's fun for the players and it allows us to monetize the game better as well so uh, you know that's what we learned from super bug killer so far you know is is it can be a small game it can still make good money even if the downloads are not very high Having leaderboards is a central part of the game. Like if it's if it's a score-based game, have leaderboards and make sure players compete with each other. Um, 
always have those in-app purchases that are $1, but have the ones that are also $50. If you do a game which is score-based, try to introduce this score multiplier system if it works for your game. Score multipliers can be unlimited, you know, it can go up to a thousand, a million times score multiplier. So the player can always come back and have, um, you know, a higher score. And I think that also works well with Temple Run because people were always beating their score. And it's the same with my wife on Temple Run. She'd play it and she'd be like, oh, I got a million points now. Oh, great. I got a million one hundred thousand. Um, she might not have been getting any better. She might have just been unlocking the score multiplier. But the score multiplier was not clear, I think. It wasn't clear enough. It wasn't obvious that, hey, you got the next score multiplier uh, to the to the general uh, the general players out there. But Because maybe as developers, we might notice that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's what we got from it. So I hope this video was really useful um, for everybody. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you do have any questions about Super Bug Killer or any of our other games, um, I'm happy to share that stuff as well, you know, if it's related to sort of revenue or say like we have ads in the game or something like this, um, you know, I'm always happy to share that stuff. Uh, the other thing is please, please download the game, everybody, please, that really helps. Uh, it's called Super Bug Killer Fly Slice on iPhone, uh, on the iTunes App Store and also on the Google Play Market as well. It's free to download, and if you do download it, please rate it as well, because again, that really, really supports us. Uh, as you know, getting more ratings like improves the, uh, the SEO of the game, the ranking of the game. So, but for now, guys, have a great weekend. I hope everyone's doing well, and if I don't speak to you before, have a great Christmas. Okay, bye-bye.